hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is cynthia hello hello i hope you guys are doing well today i'll be showing you how i transform my kitchen um there's nothing wrong with it in general but i just didn't like the the wood with the red especially the red i just didn't like it so i just wanted to do something budget friendly that i wouldn't have to commit in case i don't like it like i was going thinking about like a whole black kitchen but then i was like ah all black would i really want to commit to all black kitchen so i decided on using contact paper for this project here because i wasn't ready for painting i just didn't have enough time and energy to do that and by the way was i the only one that didn't know that you can just push that knife up and cut off the old one and you get the sharp one afterwards like push it up i'm sure i'm the only one but whatever um i was really excited <laughs> i had to show you guys after taking down one of the cabinets door the first thing you do is clean make sure it's very cleaned and then dried and then i took my contact paper measured it to size just place it on and then cut off the excess make sure you um having like a little bit of extra just in case anything goes wrong you have extra um there so this part is easy the surface is easy since i have a flat surface i just had to place it on and then just scoop all the bubbles out and then we're on to the edges so the edges are a bit tricky um you can use it as i will show you here very soon and i'll show you a second method after this method um so the heat part is that you just fold the edges just as they are there and then um you just apply heat on it on the contact paper directly not too much and then you try stretch it um i'll show you a close-up also so you see what i mean why stretching it don't overdo it because it will just make the contact paper not glue well to that surface anymore so um just the way i'm doing it here you do the same thing um, and then you fold it over after the contact paper has cooled down it will get stiff i'll show you very soon so i'm just showing you the same process all over again so put it down over um try to stretch it but don't over stretch it um to see if you need like heat on some part and then you bend um you fold it over so this is what i mean by it gets stiff afterwards um once it's stiff it doesn't actually matter nothing can happen at this point and then you just cut off the excess to give it the professional look we are going for after that you're basically done you just have to put the door back on and um, make holes for the um, handles where the handles are going and then we are done i'll show you a close-up i was so excited when i saw it come together it looks so professionally done um it looked like the door has always been black actually um yeah so i'll just go ahead and show you um the next method of doing the edges this is what i meant by not overstretching it um i overstretched it this time and it was not um sticking to the door anymore so i had to take that off and do it again um so the same process but this time i'm showing you a different method of um making the edge look seamless without using it um so you just do whatever is comfortable for you so i just cut the edges just this line here just exactly what i'm doing literally now um fold the other side over like this and do the other side also and then i just let it flap down this looks the same you just have to make sure that you cut very close to the edge that it doesn't over flap and then it looks like like something is a bump is sticking out if you understand what i mean um yeah so i after i noticed that um i was overstretching some of them and i was tired of like paying attention to that i just started using this method of um overlapping and this worked well um it's not even that visible it's not really visible at all um just make sure the smaller part is inside and the other one is outside so you've seen the before and after now um i spent about a day and a half on this kitchen um i took my time doing it because i had to go into like little details the baseboard cover that up also and i really love the outcome as you can see i didn't cover the whole kitchen in black um i felt like 
completely black would have been too much for this space um, so I left some of the wood part exposed and I feel it blends well with the countertop what are your thoughts on this kitchen makeover let me know in the comment section i can't wait to hear your thoughts um, like this video if you haven't and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye